Cloud Foundry, a development platform for cloud-native applications and one of the available runtimes on the SAP Business Technology Platform. Cloud Foundry makes running your apps in the cloud very easy, as there is just one simple command required to push a local application to the cloud, and that is CF push. Let's say we have a very simple Node.js application containing just a package.json and an index.js file. We can deploy this app to Cloud Foundry by running CF push and passing a name for the app. Alternatively, we can create a manifest.yaml file and define additional attributes relevant for running our app on the cloud. So far, so good. But what do we do if the architecture becomes a little more complex, including multiple apps and service instances that we want to create and bind together? We could do all that manually using the command line, but a more popular approach is to create a multi-target application. We describe an MTA in an MTA.yaml file. Let's say we have one module, a standalone app router, which is essentially also just a simple Node.js application. When running in Cloud Foundry, the app router requires two service instances to run, one instance of the destination service and one instance of the authorization and trust management service. In the resources section, we define those service instances in detail. We define the type of service, the service plan of choice, and other service-specific information. Now that we have described our app's architecture for Cloud Foundry, let's enrich it with content. For example, a UI5 application. Instead of just placing the UI5 app inside the app router, we put it next to it and create a package.json where we define a series of scripts that will build the UI5 app and move the build result into the app router directory. We also want these build scripts to run the mbt build command. The multi-target application build tool builds our MTA and creates an MTA archive file that we can eventually deploy to Cloud Foundry. This build step is required when working with MTAs and is one of the major differences compared to the more basic manifest.yaml based deployment we saw earlier. Let's install our dependencies and start the build. We can see that our app router now contains the UI5 application and the whole MTA, including the service binding information we defined in the MTA.yaml, is now packaged in the mtar file. Let's deploy this file using the cf deploy command. By the way, we just rebuilt the multi-target application that is being used to test the VDI5 framework. Let's use this as our baseline in the next episodes.